Hey writers. The other day I left my writing on my kitchen table at home and this is what I had written so far. I left my plate of food on my living room coffee table. I went to get a glass of water and when I got back Beatrice, my dog, was eating my dinner. I yelled, no, 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 Beatrice, no, and grabbed her away from the food as fast as I could. When I hugged her, my hands were trembling because the food almost fell onto the floor and the plate almost shattered. My husband, Brian, came by and he really loves stories, so he picked it up. And he read it in a way that made me stop in my tracks. Let me, let me read you how he wrote, read my story. He read it like this. I left my plate of food on my living room coffee table. I went to get a glass of water. And when I got back, Beatrice was eating my dinner. I yelled, no, 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 Beatrice, no, and grabbed her away from the food as fast as I could. When I hugged her, my hands were trembling because the food almost fell on the floor and the plate almost shattered. Isn't that just terrible? Horrible, actually. It's such an important story and it meant so much to me. And he read it just like blah, 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 blah. I actually got really mad. I told him that that's not what my story even sounded like. There's nothing in that story at all. That was the way that I wrote it. And I just kind of yelled at him. And do you know what he said back to me? He said, well, that's the way you wrote it. Look, and he held up my story. And you know what? He was actually right. He goes, you have no punctuation marks in your story. Look, how am I supposed to know that you were excited or had any emotion if you didn't use any punctuation marks to show your reader? So today, what I want to teach you writers is that good writers use marks on the page to help their reader read their stories the way they meant their stories to be told. And there are all different kinds of marks that we can use. We can use an exclamation mark. I'm going to show you what that looks like. that looks just like this. And we use an exclamation mark when we want our reader to know that something is very important. We use periods for calm stops, just to let our reader know that there's nothing like super exciting, there's no question, just a calm stopping point. We use capital letters when we're starting a whole new part. So if we use a period, the first letter in the next word needs to be capitalized. And we use commas for small breaks. So periods we use after a long break and a comma we use for a small break. Boys and girls, let's fix up my story right now by adding some punctuation to it. So let's go back into my story. I have it right here. And we are going to take a peek at what we at what I have written. And we're going to try to add some punctuation back in. I'm going to read it sort of like a robot. And when I get to a point where I kind of take a breath and pause, I'm going to decide is that an important part? Is that a question that I'm asking? Or is that just a calm pause that goes there? I left my plate of food on my living room coffee table. Hmm, I think I could stop right there. Period, calm, nothing important happening. 
I went to get a glass of water, and when I got back, Beatrice was eating my dinner. I think I could, wait, I was gonna do a period, but I think I was, that was important that when I turned around and got back, she was eating my dinner. So I think I need to put an exclamation point there. Okay, let me back up and read what I have again. I left my plate of food on my living room coffee table. I went to get a glass of water, and when I got back, Beatrice was eating my dinner. I yelled, oh, I just kind of paused, a little pause maybe. I yelled, no, no, no. I think all of those are exciting and important, so I'm going to put an exclamation point after each one. No, no, no. Beatrice? No. And then I'm going to capitalize this because it's the start of a new sentence. And I grabbed her away from the food as fast as I could. I think I need another exclamation point there. This is a very exciting story. Oh, and I need to capitalize this letter because it's the first letter in a new sentence. When I hugged her, my hands were trembling because the food almost fell onto the floor and the plate almost shattered, period. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you're noticing right now that good writers go back into their stories and they make sure that they've included punctuation marks so that their readers know how they were feeling and they know how to read the story. I can't wait to read your stories filled with punctuation marks today. Don't forget to add exclamation points, periods, question marks, commas, and capital letters to your stories.